Hi. We got a grouse today. We were driving to the store and uh, grouse flew in front of the car and we hit it. Beautiful rough grouse. It's the Pennsylvania State bird. They call it the rough grouse. This is a male. You can see by the the feathers here. When they're courting, this will puff up and get real big. This is a young young male. Nice fan tail. It's a beautiful bird. Very pretty. Blends right in with the the woods in the fall. You can hardly see him. But it's a young bird, not much meat on him. You could try to pluck a grouse, but it's pretty hard because their skin is so soft that you go to try to pluck it and it this you know take you forever and the skin ends up ripping anyway. And there's not much to these skinny little legs. So you could go ahead and clean the whole thing. What we do is uh breast them and I'll show you how you breast the grouse you get the wings and you stick them out like so lay the head down and you want to get your foot on each side of the wings and make sure you got a good footing on them then you grab your two two feet and bend it this way Pull up. Oh, that beautiful meat in there. And there's the breast. And then you just want to get in here. You can rip the head off. And pretty much all your guts are gone. Now I'll go through the guts and I'm going to get out the... This will all be washed out. But I'll go get the... The stomach and the heart we like to eat and then you just you could just twist these rings right off that's pretty much what you got okay hold it still a nice breast yeah nice red meat breast. And then we're going to save this tail because I'm gonna make Steffi something out of the tail these are beautiful feathers for making stuff like crafts people make use them for earrings my hands are all sticky but that's the neck and you don't really need a knife There's the fan tail. Beautiful. What you do is you'll just put some salt on here and staple it or peg it to a board with it opened. Try to dress it up nice. And that's how it'll dry like that. People hang them from the rear view mirrors, stuff like that. We'll trim that up. That's it. And here's the crop. It's like a chicken or any other bird. Because when they first eat, it don't go right into their stomach, it goes into their crop. And this is inside of their crop. You can see all the stuff this bird was eating today. What do you have? A little oh, chestnut. Yeah, a little chestnut. Wow. Berries. What kind of berries? Acorn. Look wow. at the acorn. Swallowed it big. But what they have is their stomach is a muscle and then they eat grit. That's why you have to feed your chickens grit, but these birds will eat small little stones. It's all berries in there. And they'll eat small little stones. That helps grind up the, the food. And most of the food they eat is roughage. And here's their stomach. It's all muscle. And if you open it up, you'll find all grit in there. And that helps grind up their food. That's how a bird. Mm -hmm. Poor thing. I know. See, they got a nice little little comb on her head. Uh -huh. But we didn't want to waste it. We hit it and it got killed. So we ran out, pulled over, and might as well eat it. We'll give them a ball. They're very tasty. Okay, here I got the uh, grouse 
breast cut off the bone and into nice even pieces as much as I can get it um, and just press it into the breading we're not using any kind of egg wash or flour if you want you can but you, we just want the natural taste of the grouse with just some some breading what we call these are our fried nuggets and the breading just makes it crispy uh, you don't want to fry them too long as you'll see so I just cut them up into small edible pieces and here we have some uh, salted butter because the breast grouse meat doesn't have any fat most wild animals you're not gonna have any fat you need to add the fat so we're, that's why we're using butter but you can use what you'd like canola oil if you're into that or olive oil vegetable oil but we're using butter just to add some of the fat and some of the flavor so just fry them up on one side I'm just using my fingers here uh, this is a roadkill um, roadkill grouse you know nobody wants to let it just go to waste even though in nature nothing goes to waste something will eat it either something eats it or it goes back in the ground as nutrients so mother nature has its own way of taking care of herself but uh, why miss out on a beautiful meal like this we hit the grouse pulled over and uh, picked it up cleaned it up and now we're gonna make our little grouse nuggets some fried nuggets and uh, you don't want to overcook this just get them brown uh, the butter's actually clarifying not clarifying but caramelizing and uh, really tastes good so just flip them over once cook them on one side until they're brown and here they're finished already flipped over you can see they're browned on both sides I'm just going to put them on a plate here uh, there's already salt in the butter we'll add a little pepper uh, my wife likes to use a dipping sauce she'll probably get a, a salad dressing of buttermilk or some something out of the fridge and dip them in but I like them plain with little pepper and just eat them up like that so there you go uh, road killed grouse cooked to our little grouse nuggets I hope you enjoyed the video and um, enjoy thank you